Hey, what's going on guys? How are you meatballs? In this video, I'll be explaining a very important trick slash method to indirectly carry your weapons over to your next game in MW3 Zombies. Keep in mind that I said indirectly. There is some meat to what I'm about to show you. That said, this is not a glitch or cheat. We'll just be utilizing an Easter egg put in place by MW3 Zombies made to reward good players. And what we'll be doing here is utilizing the Elemental Pop free perk Easter egg. And I'll explain what the heck I mean by this. So when you're done with your game of zombies, the timer's counting down, you're about to Xville, make your way to the E4 coordinate of the map. Be careful because it is in the red zone and as such, it is extremely difficult to survive here. You should really only come with one weapon so that you can switch to your fist and run much faster. If you don't run with just your fist out, there is a very small chance that you can actually survive in the red zone for an extended period of time. But anyways, at this point, once you're at the C4 coordinate of the map, go up to this grave and interact to pay respects. It will strip you of your weapon rarity, ammo mods, and pack-a-punch. And I know you're probably getting mad at me like, whoa, what the hell you're making? can be do the trick is inside the portal it spawns for you where you sacrificed your weapon will be a 30 percent chance of elemental pop which for the sake of this video who cares side note if you do happen to care and want a video showing you how to get all the perks for free in mw3 zombies via the free perk easter eggs a full perkaholic the full correct guide is on my channel with a bunch of other super elite videos and tutorials and can be found down below in the playlist in the description but coming back once you sacrifice your weapon to this grave it'll spawn a portal as i said and inside of it you'll receive something of equal value or less when it comes down to the weapon you traded in. Unfortunately, there is no rhyme or reason to what you get back other than the fact that this Easter egg is also tied to the Elemental Pop Easter egg. And for those of you who don't know, Elemental Pop is a perk that randomly activates a random ammo mod on your weapon while shooting zombies. So Treyarch felt that it was clever and fitting for this Easter egg to randomly give you Elemental Pop and randomly determine the loot you get back from sacrificing your weapon. So this means that when you sacrifice, say, a double pack a punch purple weapon with brain rot to the grave in return you can get back at max at max a purple ether tool a brain rot ammo mod and a gold tier 2 pap ethereum crystal however like i said what you get back is random in terms of the floor your ceiling is the current weapon loadout which in this example i gave would be a double pap crystal purple tool and brain rot mod but the floor could literally mean that you just get back a green ether tool and nothing else now if you're trading in something of high rarity and something you spent a lot of time to actually get in your game like a double or triple pack weapon, a purple or gold weapon, you probably won't just get a green ether tool. You probably get something a lot better than that. But I'm just letting you know that the floor, <laughs> there, there really is none. I've seen people literally just get back a can of elemental pop and nothing else. But that was also, like I said, when they traded in less rare items. Regardless, the point of showing you guys this is that what you can now do is stow slash stash these items from the portal into your rucksack to bring with you when you exfil. If you successfully exfil, those items will be in your rucksack and will come with you to your next game that's how rucksacks work and if you don't understand how rucksacks work and what exactly carries over with you from game to game make sure you check out my full rucksack video but yeah this means that as soon as the next game starts you can technically carry over the weapon that you had from your previous game into your now current game again this is because you can both select your insurance weapon if that was the gun you took into your game and buffed up or you can also select the weapon you had in your game and x filled with from your contraband stash and you can now spawn in with either one of those weapons into your next match then you can apply all of the stuff you exiled with from that portal. At that point, you would have the chance to completely save and carry over your weapon from your previous game to your next game indirectly if it did give you all of the stuff you had on your weapon in the previous game. So this is not a direct carryover, but this is a carryover just indirectly. Of course, considering that you get equal loot, which is not always guaranteed, but I never said that it was guaranteed. Also, unfortunately, because you guys now realize how this works, no, this cannot be done with any wonder weapons, but it still is cool and a very helpful trick. Drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you on my daily COD Zombies Twitch streams and take care of your meatballs.